The Black Forest, is a large forested mountain range in southwest Germany, in the state of Baden-Württemberg. Bounded by the Rhine Valley to the west and south and close to the borders with France and Switzerland. It is the source of the Danube and Neckar rivers. Its highest peak is the Fellberg with an elevation of 1,493 meters above sea level. Roughly oblong in shape, with a length of 160 kilometers and breadth of up to 50 kilometers, it has an area of about 6,009 square kilometers. Historically, the area was known for forestry and the mining of ore deposits, but tourism has now become the primary industry, accounting for around 300,000 jobs. There are several ruined military fortifications dating back to the 17th century. The Black Forest on the Tabula Putangeriana, a mountain chain with fantastically formed trees as a symbol of an unsettled and virtually inaccessible terrain Black Forest farmhouse. 1898 An unmarried Black Forest woman wearing a red bowl and hut, 1898 In ancient times, the Black Forest was known as Abnoba Mons, after the Celtic deity, Abnoba. In Roman times, it was given the name Silva Marchana. The Black Forest probably represented the border area of the Marcomanni who were settled east of the Roman limes. They in turn were part of the Germanic tribe of Swabi, who subsequently gave their name to the historic state of Swabia. With the exception of Roman settlements on the perimeter and the construction of the Roman road of Kinzigtalstrasse. The colonization of the Black Forest was not carried out by the Romans but by the Alamanni. They settled and first colonized the valleys, crossing the old settlement boundary, the so-called Red Sandstone border, for example, from the region of Bar. Soon afterwards, increasingly higher areas and adjacent forests were colonized, so that by the end of the 10th century, the first settlements could be found in the Red Sandstone region. These include, for example, Rodenbach, which was first mentioned in 819. Some of the uprisings that preceded the 16th century German Peasants' War, originated in the Black Forest. Further peasant unrest, in the shape of the Saltpeter Uprisings, took place over the next two centuries in Hudsonwald. Remnants of military fortifications dating from the 17th and 18th centuries can be found in the Black Forest, especially on the mountain passes. Examples include the multiple Baroque fieldworks of Margrave Louis William of Baden-Baden or individual defensive positions such as the Alexanderschans, the Rosenschans and the Schwedenschans. Originally, the Black Forest was a mixed forest of deciduous trees and firs. At the higher elevations spruce also grew. In the middle of the 19th century, the Black Forest was almost completely deforested by intensive forestry and was subsequently replanted, mostly with spruce monocultures. In 1990, extensive damage to the forest was caused by a series of windstorms. On December 26, 1999, Hurricane Lotar raged across the Black Forest and caused even greater damage, especially to the spruce monocultures. As had happened following the 1990 storms, large quantities of fallen logs were kept in provisional wet storage areas for years. The effects of the storm are demonstrated by the Lotar Path, a forest educational and adventure trail at the Nature Center in Rostein on a highland timber forest of about 10 hectares that was destroyed by a hurricane. Several areas of storm damage, both large and small, were left to nature and have developed today into a natural mixed forest again. Woods and pastures of the high black forest near Breitnau The black forest stretches from the high Rhine in the south to the Kreichgau in the north. In the west it is bounded by the upper Rhine plain, in the east it transitions to the Gau, bar and hill country west of the Kletgau. From north to south, the black forest extends for over 160 kilometers, attaining a width of up to 50 kilometers in the south and 30 kilometers in the north. The black forest is the highest part of the south German Scarplands, and much of it is densely wooded, a fragment of the Hercunian forest of antiquity. Administratively, the Black Forest belongs completely to the state of Baden-Württemberg and comprises the cities of Pforzheim, Baden-Baden and Freiburg as well as the following districts. In the north, Enns, Rastatt and Kalf, in the middle, Freudenstadt, Ordenaukreis and Rottweil, in the south, Emmendingen, Schwarzwald Bar, Breisgau Hochschwarzwald, Lurach, and Waldshut. The natural regions of the Black Forest are separated by various features. Geomorphologically, the main division is between the gentle eastern slopes with their mostly rounded hills and broad plateaus and the deeply incised, steeply falling terrain in the west that drops into the upper Rhine Graben, the so called Valley Black Forest with its Rhenanian relief. It is here, in the west, where the highest mountains and the greatest local differences in height are found. The valleys are often narrow and ravine like. The summits are rounded and there are remnants of plateaus and a reedy-like landforms. 
Geologically the clearest division is also between east and west. Large areas of the eastern Black Forest, the lowest layer of the South German Scarplands composed of Bunter sandstone, are covered by seemingly endless coniferous forest with their island clearings. The exposed basement in the west, predominantly made up of metamorphic rocks and granites, was, despite its rugged topography, easier to settle and appears much more open and inviting today with its varied meadow valleys. The Feldberg, the highest mountain in the Black Forest, SC of Freiburg The most common way of dividing the regions of the Black Forest is, however, from north to south. Until the 1930s, the Black Forest was divided into the northern and southern Black Forest, the boundary being the line of the Kinzig Valley. Later the Black Forest was divided into the heavily forested northern Black Forest, the lower, central section, predominantly used for agriculture in the valleys. Was the central Black Forest and the much higher southern Black Forest with its distinctive highland economy and Ice Age glacial relief. The term High Black Forest referred to the highest areas of the south and southern central Black Forest. The boundaries drawn were, however, quite varied. In 1931, Robert Grabman called the central Black Forest the catchment area of the Kinzig and in the west the section up to the lower Els and Kinzig tributary of the Goodock. A pragmatic division, which is oriented not just on natural and cultural regions, uses the most important transverse valleys. Based on that, the central Black Forest is bounded by the Kinzig in the north and the line from Drysam to Gotok in the south, corresponding to the Bondorf Graben zone in the course of the present day B31. In 1959, Rudolf Metz combined the earlier divisions and proposed a modified tripartite division, which combined natural and cultural regional approaches and was widely used. His central Black Forest is bounded in the north by the watershed between the Acre and Wrench and subsequently between the Merg and Kinzig or Forbach and Kinzig, in the south by the Bondorf Graben zone. Which restricts the Black Forest in the east as does the Freudenstadt Graben further north by its transition into the northern Black Forest. Work of the Institute of Applied Geography The Handbook of the Natural Region Divisions of Germany published by the Federal Office of Regional Geography. Since the early 1950s names the Black Forest as one of six tertiary-level major landscape regions within the secondary-level region of the South German Scarplands and, at the same time, one of nine new major landscape unit groups. It is divided into six so-called major units. This division was refined and modified in several successor publications up to 1967, each covering individual sections of the map. The mountain range was also divided into three regions. The northern boundary of the central Black Forest in this classification runs south of the Rench Valley and the Canibus to near Freudenstadt. Its southern boundary varied with each addition. In 1998, the Baden-Württemberg State Department for Environmental Protection published a reworked natural region division of Baden-Württemberg. It is restricted to the level of the natural regional major units and has been used since for the state's administration of nature conservation, slopes of the northern Black Forest to the upper Rhine Plain. The Black Forest foothills geomorphologically form plateaus on the north and northeast periphery of the mountain range that descend to the Kreichgau in the north and the Heckengau landscapes in the east. They are incised by valleys, especially those of the Nagold River system, into individual interfluves, a narrow northwestern finger extends. To beyond the ends near Nunberg and also borders the middle reaches of the Alb to the west as far as a point immediately above Ettlingen. To the southwest it is adjoined by the Black Forest Grindon and Enns Hills, along the upper reaches of the Enns and Merg, forming the heart of the northern Black Forest. The west of the northern Black Forest is formed by the northern Black Forest valleys with the middle reaches of the Merg around Jernsbach. The middle course of the Ouse to Baden-Baden, the middle reaches of the Bulot above Bulls and the upper reaches of the Wrench around Oppenau. Their exit valleys from the mountain range are all oriented towards the northwest. Grassland economy and side valleys of the Kinzig, Central Black Forest The Central Black Forest is mainly restricted to the catchment area of the River Kinzig above Offenburg as well as the Shutter and the low hills north of the Els. The southeastern Black Forest consists mainly of the catchment areas of the upper reaches of the Danube head streams, the Bregakenbreg as well as the left side valleys of the Wutok north of Neustadt, and thus draining from the northeast of the southern Black Forest. To the south and west it is adjoined by the high Black Forest with the highest summits in the whole range around the Feldberg and the Belchen. Its eastern part, the southern Black Forest Plateau, is oriented towards the Danube, but drained over the Wutak and the Alb into the Rhine. The southern crest of the Black Forest in the west is deeply incised by the Rhine into numerous ridges. 
Immediately right of the visa above Lurok rises the relatively small Bunter Sandstone Rotli Gendes table of the Wintanau uplands in the extreme southwest of the Black Forest, morphologically. Geologically and climatically it is separate from the other parts of the southern Black Forest and, in this classification, is also counted as part of the High Black Forest. The Belchen in the southern Black Forest with its bare dome, seen from Munsterl at 1,493 meters above sea level the Feldberg in the southern Black Forest is the range's highest summit. Also in the same area are the Herzogenhorn and the Belchen. In general the mountains of the southern or high Black Forest are higher than those in the northern Black Forest. The highest Black Forest peak north of the freiburg hollandel neustadt line is the Candle. Like the highest point of the northern Black Forest, the Horneskrind, or the southern Black Forest lookout mountains, the Schoensland and Blauen it lies near the western rim of the range. The river Skiltok and Skiltok the Schlutzsee, north of Street. Blasian rivers in the Black Forest include the Danube, the Enns, the Kinzig, the Merg, the Nagold, the Necker, Rench, and the Visa. The Black Forest occupies part of the continental divide between the Atlantic Ocean drainage basin and the Black Sea drainage basin. The longest Black Forest rivers are, important lakes of natural, glacial origin in the Black Forest include the Titusy, the Mummelsee and the Feltsee. Especially in the northern Black Forest are a number of other, smaller tarns. Numerous reservoirs like the, formerly natural but much smaller, Schlutzsee with the other lakes of the Schlutzsee work, the Schwarzenbach Reservoir. The Kleine Kinzig Reservoir or the Nagold Reservoir are used for electricity generation, flood protection or drinking water supply. Topography of the Black Forest The Black Forest consists of a cover of sandstone on top of a core of gneiss and granite. Formerly it shared tectonic evolution with the nearby Vosges Mountains. Later during the Middle Eocene a rifting period affected the area and caused formation of the Upper Rhine Plain. During the last glacial period of the Worm Glaciation, the Black Forest was covered by glaciers, several tarns such as the Mummelsee are remains of this period. The geological foundation of the Black Forest is formed by the crystalline bedrock of the Variscan Basement. This is covered in the east and northeast by Bunter Sandstone Slabs, the so-called platforms. On the western edge a descending, step fault-like, foothill zone borders the upper Rhine Graben consisting of rocks of the Triassic and Jurassic periods. The dominant rocks of the basement are gneiss. These gneisses were penetrated by a number of granitic bodies during the Carboniferous period. Among the bigger ones are the Triberg granite and the Forbach granite, the youngest is the Barhalda granite. In the south lies the zone of Badenweiler Lenskirch, in which Paleozoic rocks have been preserved which are interpreted as the intercalated remains of a microcontinental collision. Still further in the southeast is a range of exotic inclusions, Gabbro from Erzberg, Serpentinites and Pyroxenites near Todmuz. Norite near Horbach, which are possibly the remnants of an accretionary wedge from a continental collision. Also noteworthy are the basins in the Rot Legion, for example the Schromberg or the Baden-Baden Basin with thick quartz porphyry and tuff plates. Thick Rot Legion des Rock, covered by Bunter, also occurs in the north of the Dinkelberg block. Even further to the southeast, under the Jura, lies the North Swiss Permocarboniferous Basin. Since the downfalting of the Upper Rhine Graben during the Eocene epoch, the two shoulders on either side have been uplifted, the Black Forest to the east and the Vosges to the west. In the center lies the Kaiserstuhl volcano, which dates to the Miocene. In the times that followed, the Mesozoic platform on the uplands was largely eroded, apart from remains of Bunder Sandstone and Rotlegion group, but it has survived within the Graben itself. During the Pliocene a pronounced but uneven bulge especially affected the southern Black Forest, including the Feldberg. As a result, the upper surface of the basement in the northern part of the forest around the Hornus Grind is considerably lower. In the central Black Forest, the tectonic syncline of the Kinzig and Merg emerged. Geomorphologist Walter Penck regarded the Black Forest as an uplifted geologic dome and modeled his theory of piedmont trepan on it. Above the crystalline basement of the northern Black Forest and the adjacent parts of the central Black Forest, the Bunner sandstone platforms rise in prominent steps. The most resistant surface strata on the steppe terrain of the Grinden uplands and the heights around the upper reaches of the Enns, which had been heavily eroded by the tributaries of the Merg, is the silicified main conglomerate. To the east and north are the naps of the upper Bunder. South of the Kinzig the Bunder sandstone zone narrows to a fringe in the east of the mountain range. It is considered proven that the Black Forest was heavily glaciated during the peak periods of at least the Riss and Worm glaciations. This glacial geomorphology characterizes almost all of the high Black Forest as well as the main ridge of the northern Black Forest. Apart from that, 
it is only discernible from a large number of cirques mainly facing northeast. Especially in this direction snow accumulated on the shaded and leeward slopes of the summit plateau to form short cirque glaciers that made the sides of these funnel-shaped depressions. There are still tarns in some of these old cirques, partly a result of the anthropogenic elevation of the low side lip of the cirque, such as the Mummel Z, Wild Z, Sherm Z, Glasswald Z, Bullblock Z, Nanenmat Waihe, and Feld Z. The Titus Z formed as glacial lake behind a glacial moraine. The Black Forest is mainly rural, with many scattered villages and a few large towns. Tradition and custom are celebrated in many places in the form of annual festivities. The main dialect spoken in the Black Forest area is Aelmanic. The forest is best known for its typical farmhouses with their sweeping half-hipped roofs, its Black Forest gatos, Black Forest ham, Black Forest gnomes, Kirschfusser and the cuckoo clock. Traditional costume or tract is still sometimes worn today, usually at festive occasions. The appearance of such costume varies from region to region, sometimes markedly. One of the best-known Black Forest costumes is that of the villages of Kernbach, Reichenbach and Guthakim Kinzigdal with the characteristic Bolin hut headdress. Unmarried women wear the hats with red baubles or Bolin, married women wear black. Engaged women sometimes wear a bridal crown before and on the day of their wedding, whose largest examples from the town of Street. Georgian weigh up to 5 kilograms. Its rural beauty as well as the sense of tradition of its inhabitants attracted many artists in the 19th and early 20th centuries, whose works made the Black Forest famous the world over. Notable were Hans Thoma from Bernau and his fellow student, Rudolf Epp, who was sponsored by the Grand Duke of Baden, Frederick I. Both artists painted motifs from the Black Forest throughout their lives. Artist J. Metzler from Dusseldorf traveled through the Black Forest to paint his landscapes. The works of the Goodock artist colony around Wilhelm Hasemann were widely admired, their landscape and genre motifs capturing the character of the Black Forest. Like local author Heinrich Hans Jacob, they were part of a Baden folk costume movement. In the field of handicrafts, wood carving produces folk art like the Longinus crosses along with sculptors like Matthias Faller. Wood carving is a traditional cottage industry in the region, and carved ornaments now are produced in substantial numbers as souvenirs for tourists. Cuckoo clocks are a popular example. Glassblowing is another notable craft of the Black Forest region. At the beginning of the 15th century, the art of glassmaking took hold in the Bavarian Bohemian border mountains, especially since the necessary raw materials such as quartz and wood were abundant here. With the permission of the manor, glassblowers operated simple glass production facilities as wandering huts, the locations of which were relocated when the local resources were available. They needed huge amounts of firewood and wood for potash. In the second half of the 18th century, the huts had to close due to a shortage of wood and sales difficulties. Only after 1800, when the demand for luxury glass increased enormously, when a few decades of regulated forestry had ensured the regrowth of the raw material wood and when the forest-destroying potash extraction had become unnecessary due to the new glass flux soda. Some glass huts revived. Some glassblowing factories still testify to this today, for example in Hollental, near Totnau and in Volfok. Black Forest Ham originated from this region, as did the Black Forest Gateau, which is also known as Black Forest Cherry Cake or Black Forest Cake and is made with chocolate cake, cream, sour cherries and kirsch. The Black Forest variety of Flamekuesh is a Baden specialty made with ham, cheese and cream. Fonkuchen, a crepe or crepe-like pastry, is also common. The Black Forest is known for its long tradition in gourmet cuisine. No fewer than 17 Michelin-starred restaurants are located in the region, among them two restaurants with three stars, Restaurants Bereis and Schwarzwaldstube in Bayersbrunn, as well as the only restaurant in Germany that has been awarded a Michelin star every year since 1966. At Schwarzwald Hotel Adler in Hausern, three generations of chefs from the same family have defended the award from the first year the Michelin Guide selected restaurants in Germany until today. The German holiday of Fasnacht, or Fasnet, as it is known in the Black Forest region, occurs in the time leading up to Lent. On Fasnetmendig, or the Monday before Ash Wednesday, crowds of people line the streets, wearing wooden, mostly hand-carved masks. One prominent style of mask is called the Black Forest style, originating from the Black Forest region. One of two patterns of Segu trump cards the Black Forest is home to an unusual tarot card game, Segu, that is part of the region's cultural heritage. After the defeat of further Austria in 1805, much of its territory was allocated to the Grand Duchy of Baden. During the ensuing Napoleonic Wars, 
soldiers from Baden deployed with Napoleon's troops to Spain where, among other things, they learned a new card game, Umber. They took this back to Baden and adapted it to be played with tarot cards which were then in common use in southern Germany. Segu soon developed into the national game of Baden and Hohenzollern, and these are the only regions of Germany where tarot cards are still used for playing games. The game has grown organically, and there are many regional variations, but in recent years the establishment of a Segu Black Forest Championship has led to official tournament rules being defined. In addition, regular courses and local tournaments are held and it is a permanent feature of Ailmanic Week, held annually in the Black Forest at the end of September. Central-slash-North Black Forest Nature Park, view from the Horneskrine there are two nature parks and one national park named after the Black Forest that cover the region, the Southern Black Forest Nature Park. The Central-slash-North Black Forest and the Black Forest National Park. The difference between a nature park and a national park is that a nature park's aim is to strive for environmentally sustainable land use, to preserve the countryside as a cultural landscape. To market local produce more effectively, to make the area more suitable for sustainable tourism and to practice environmental education. A national park's aims are to protect the country's natural heritage, to practice environmental education, to serve purposes of scientific environmental observation and to prevent the area from being commercially exploited. The Southern Black Forest Nature Park was founded in 1999. It comprises 394,000 hectares and is therefore Germany's largest nature park. It encloses the southern part of the Central Black Forest, the Southern Black Forest and adjacent areas. The Central-slash-North Black Forest Nature Park was founded in 2000. It covers 375,000 hectares and is thus the second largest in Germany. It begins in the southern part of the Central Black Forest, bordering on the Southern Black Forest Nature Park and covers the rest of the Black Forest to the north. The Black Forest National Park, established in 2014, is the first national park in Baden-Württemberg. It lies completely within the central-slash-north Black Forest Nature Park between the cities of Freudenstadt and Baden-Baden and covers an area of 10,062 hectares. Its motto is Nature Nature Sein Lawson. Two black forest horses pulling a sled in the winter in addition to the characteristic range of fauna found in Central European forests, the following less. Common animals may be observed in the black forest, the mountain range has lower temperatures and higher rainfall than its surrounding countryside. The highlands of the Black Forest are characterized by regular rainfall throughout the year. However, temperatures do not fall evenly with increasing elevation, nor does the rainfall increase uniformly. Rather, the precipitation rises quickly even in the lower regions and is disproportionately heavy on the rainier western side of the mountains. Winter on the Schoensland In the background are the Vosges the wettest areas are the highlands around the Horneskrind in the north and around the Belchen and Feldberg in the south where annual rainfall reaches 1,800 to 2,100 mm. Moisture-laden Atlantic westerlies dump about as much rain in the northern Black Forest, despite its lower elevation, than in the higher area of the southern Black Forest. There, the Vosges act as a rain shield in the face of the prevailing winds. On the exposed east side of the central Black Forest, it is much drier, the annual rainfall there is about 750 liters slash M2. The higher elevations of the Black Forest are characterized by relatively small annual fluctuations and steamed extreme values. This is the result of the frequent light winds and greater cloud cover in summer. During the winter months, frequent high pressure means that the summits are often bathed in sunshine, while the valleys disappear under a thick blanket of fog as a result of pockets of cold air. Hintersarten in the southern Black Forest, Church and Adler Ski Jump The main industry of the Black Forest is tourism. Black Forest Tourism assesses that there are around 140,000 direct full-time jobs in the tourist sector and around 34.8 million tourist overnight stays in 2009. In spring, summer and autumn an extensive network of hiking trails and mountain bike routes enable different groups of people to use the natural region. In winter, it is the various types of winter sport that come to the fore. There are facilities for both downhill and Nordic skiing in many places. The Altstadt of Altensteig in the northern Black Forest The most heavily frequented tourist destinations and resorts in the Black Forest are the Tidesee and the Schlutzsee. Both lakes offer opportunities for water sports like diving and windsurfing. The Mummelsee is a recreational lake and a starting point for a number of hiking trails including the Kunstpfad and Mummelsee. The Merg Valley, the Kinzig Valley, the Triberg Waterfalls and the Open Air Museum at Voxbauernhof are also popular. Lookout mountains include the Feldberg, the Belchen, 
the candle in the Schoensland in the southern black forest, and the Hornusgrind, the Schliffkopf, the Holo, the Merker and the Tufelsmahl in the northern black forest. The height differences in the mountains are used in many places for hang gliding and paragliding. One oft-visited town is Baden-Baden with its thermal baths and festival hall. Other thermal baths are found in the spa resorts of Badenweiler, Bad Hernald, Bad Wildbad, Bad Krosingen, Bad Liebenzell, and Bad Bellingen. From the beginning of the 19th century, the desire for spa and bathing resorts arose in all of Central Europe because of the increasing economic potential, increasing mobility and the use of advertising. The neo-Renaissance style Friedrichsbad and the Palais Thermal are examples for spas built in this era. Other tourist destinations are the old imperial town of Gengenbach, the former county towns of Wolfach, Skiltok and Haslach im Kinzigdal and the flower and wine village of Sasbachwalden at the foot of the Hornusgrind. Picturesque old towns may be visited in Altensteig, Dornstetten, Freiburg im Breisgau, Jernsbach, Fillingen and Zell im Harmersbach. Beersbrunn is a center of gastronomic excellence, Freudenstadt is built around the largest marketplace in Germany. Gersbach's floral displays have won awards as the German Golden Village of 2004 and the European Golden Village of 2007. Noted for their fine interiors are the former monastery of St. Blasian as well as the abbeys of Zonk Trudpert, St. Peter and St. Mergen. Alpersbach Abbey and the ruined Hersau Abbey were built of red sandstone in the Hersau style. Another idyllic rural edifice is Wittekan Abbey near Schenkenzell. The Mummelsee along the Black Forest High Road there are well-known winter sports areas around the Feldberg, near Totnau with its FIS downhill ski run of Fowler Lock and in Hindersarten, a center and talent forge for German ski jumpers. In the northern Black Forest, the winter sports areas are concentrated along the Black Forest High Road and on the ridge between the Merg and Enns rivers around Kaltenbrunn. The Black Forest has a great number of very varied trails, some of pan-regional significance. The European Long Distance Path E1 crosses the Black Forest following the routes of some of the local long distance paths. Their framework is a network of long distance paths with main routes and side branches, many of which were laid out in the early 20th century by the Black Forest Club. The best known of these is the challenging West Way with its many steep inclines. After 1950, circular walks were constructed to meet the changing demand, initially from the relatively dense railway network and, later, mainly from locally established hiking car parks. Currently, special, more experience-oriented themed paths are being laid out, such as the Dornstedten Barefoot Park, the Park of All Senses in Guttach, as well as those designed to bring the walker more directly in contact with nature. Roads and wide forest tracks are thus less often used than hitherto. There are numerous shorter paths suitable for day walks, as well as mountain biking and cross-country skiing trails. The total network of tracks amounts to around 23,000 kilometers, and is maintained and overseen by volunteers of the Black Forest Club, which is the second largest German hiking association. As of 2021, the club counts 65,000 members. Culture and crafts the Voxbauernhof of the Black Forest Open Air Museum in the Guttach Valley the Black Forest Open Air Museum at. The Voxbauernhof farm in Guttach has original Black Forest houses offering insights into farming life of the 16th and 17th centuries. The buildings were dismantled at their original sites, the individual pieces numbered and then re-erected to exactly the same plan in the museum. The open-air museum shows the life of 16th and 17th century farmers in the region featuring the Vogtsbauernhof which dates back to 1612. The German Clock Museum in Fertwangen gives a comprehensive cross-section of the history of the watchmaking and clockmaking industries. From this early precision engineering a formerly important phonographic industry developed in the 20th century. The history of leisure electronics is presented in the German Phono Museum in Street, Georgian. The Schutessage Museum in Skiltok has information and living history demonstrations covering the themes of lumbering and timber rafting in the Kinzig Valley as well as tanning. The Black Forest Costume Museum in Haslach im Kinzigdal offers an overview of the traditional costume of the whole of the Black Forest and its peripheral regions. Also located in Haslach, the Hans Jacob Museum and the Hans Jacob Archive with numerous works of the writer, priest, politician, historian and chronicler, Heinrich Hans Jacob. Nature and Science The Mima Mineralogy and Mathematics Museum in Oberwolfack houses minerals and mining exhibits from the whole of the Black Forest and links them to mathematical explanations. Road transport Several tourist routes run through the Black Forest. Well-known holiday routes are the Black Forest High Road and the German Clock Road. 
Thanks to its winding country roads, the Black Forest is a popular destination for motorcyclists. This arm of tourism is controversial due to the high number of accidents and the wide-ranging noise pollution and has been restricted through the introduction of speed limits and by placing certain roads out of bounds. For example, since 1984, motorcyclists have been banned from using the mountain racing route on the Schoensland during summer weekends. Railway transport the Goodock Bridge on the Hollandle Railway The whole of the Black Forest was once linked by railway. In the eastern part of the northern Black Forest by the Enns Valley Railway from Fortsheim to Bad Viltbot, by the Nagold Valley Railway from Fortsheim via Kalf and Nagold to Horp and Necker. By the Württemberg Black Forest Railway from Stuttgart to Kalf and the Gau Railway from Stuttgart to Freudenstadt or its present-day section from Uttingen to Freudenstadt. Many railway lines run from the Rhine Plain up the valleys into the Black Forest, the Albert Valley Railway runs from Karlsruhe to Bad Hernald, the Merg Valley Railway from Rastatt to Freudenstadt. The Acre Valley Railway from Ockern to Ochnofen im Schwarzwald and the Wrench Valley Railway from Appenweier to Bad Griesbach. The Baden Black Forest Railway has linked Offenburg with Constance on Lake Constance since 1873, running via Hausch, Triberg, Street, Dorgen, Fillingen, and Donauischingen. In Haus the Kinzig Valley Railway branches off to Freudenstadt, in Denzling in the Els Valley Railway peels off towards Elzach. The Hollandel Railway runs from Freiburg and Breisgau through the Hollandel Valley to Donaueschingen. The Munsterdal Railway from Bad Krozingen to Munsterdal, the Kander Valley Railway from Haltingen near Basel through the Kander Valley to Kondern and the Wiesen Valley Railway from Basel to Zell and Wiesenl. The Three Lakes Railway branches off at the Tidesee from the Hollandel Railway and runs to the Windfall Weyer and the Schlutzsee. The Wutak Valley Railway runs along the border between Baden-Württemberg and Switzerland, linking Waldshut Tiengen with Emendingen on the Black Forest Railway. Most of these routes are still busy today, while some are popular heritage lines. Since January 2006, the Black Forest Tourist Organization, Schwarzwald Tourismus, whose head office is in Freiburg, has been responsible for the administration of tourism in the 320 municipalities of the region. Hitherto there had been four separate tourist associations. Winter on Schoensland, Famous Windbuchen beaches bent by the wind There are many historic towns in the Black Forest. Popular tourist destinations include Baden-Baden, Freiburg, Kalf, Gengenbach, Stauffen, Skiltok, Haslach, and Altensteig. Other popular destinations include such mountains as the Feldberg, the Belchen, the Kandel, and the Schoensland, the Titusee and Schlutzsee lakes, the All Saints waterfalls, the Triberg waterfalls. Not the highest, but the most famous waterfalls in Germany and the gorge of the river would talk. For drivers, the main route through the region is the fast A5 motorway, but a variety of signposted scenic routes such as the Schwarzwaldhochstrasse, Baden-Baden to Freudenstadt, schwarzwald taylorstrasse The Merg and Kinzig Valleys, or Badische Weinstrasse, a wine route from Baden-Baden to Wallem Rhein, offers calmer driving along high roads. The last is a picturesque trip starting in the south of the Black Forest going north and includes numerous old wineries and tiny villages. Another, more specialized route is the German clock route, a circular route that traces the horological history of the region. Black Forest track due to the rich mining history dating from medieval times there are many mines reopened to the public. Such mines may be visited in the Kinzig Valley, the Sigentel, the Munster Valley, and around Totmoos. The Black Forest was visited on several occasions by Count Otto von Bismarck during his years as Prussian and later German Chancellor. Allegedly, he was especially interested in the Triberg waterfalls. There is now a monument in Triberg dedicated to Bismarck, who apparently enjoyed the tranquility of the region as an escape from his day-to-day political duties in Berlin. The Black Forest featured in the philosophical development of Martin Heidegger. Heidegger wrote and edited some of his philosophical works in a small hut in the Black Forest, and would receive visitors there for walks, including his former pupil Hannah Arendt. This hut features explicitly in his essay Building, Dwelling, Thinking, his walks in the Black Forest are supposed to have inspired the title of his collection of essays Haltzwege, translated as Off the Beaten Track, Horneskrind Plateau and Raised Bog. Behind, transmission mast and wind generators mining developed in the Black Forest due to its or deposits, which were often load-shaped. The formation of these deposits, Schoensland Pit, Zinc, Lead, about 700 to 1000 grams silver slash ton of lead, barite, fluorite, less lead and zinc in the Kinzig Valley by Kony ores near Wittekin, uranium. Discovered in the Krunkelbach Valley near Menzinschwan but never officially mined, often used to be linked to the intrusion of carboniferous granite in the para and orthonysis. 
More recent research has revealed that most of these load fillings are much younger. Economic deposits of other minerals included, fluorite in the northern black forest near Pforzheim, barite in the central region near Freudenstadt, fluorite along with lead and silver near Wildstapbach. Barite and fluorite in the Ranks Valley and near Olsbach, in the southern black forest near Todnau, Wieden, and Erberg. Small liquid magmatic deposits of nickel magnetite gravel in Norit were mined or prospected in the Hotzenwald Forest near Horbach and Todmuz. Straight abound deposits include iron ores in the Dogger layer of the foothill zone and uranium near Mullenbach slash Baden Baden. Stone coal is only found near Bergaupten and Dyersburg, but was always only of local importance. Chronology Stone Age mining of hematite near Salzburg. By the 5th and 6th centuries BC iron ore was being mined by the Celts in the northern Black Forest. Especially in the middle Black Forest, but also in the south or mining was already probably taking place in Roman times. Until the High Middle Ages the High Black Forest was practically unsettled. In the course of inland colonization in the late High Middle Ages even the highlands were cultivated by settlers from the abbeys. In the late High Middle Ages mining experienced another boom, especially around Todnau, in the Munster and Sigjan Valleys and, later, on the Schoensland too. It is believed that around 800 to 1,000 miners lived and worked in the Munster Valley until the end of the Middle Ages. After the plague, which afflicted the valley in 1516, the German Peasants' War and the Thirty Years' War, mining in the region declined until just a few pits remained. An important mining area was the Kinzig Valley and its side valleys. The small mining settlement of Wittekin near Schenkenzell in the upper Kinzig Valley had many pits from which miners dug barite, cobalt and silver of many kinds. A circular, geological footpath runs today past the old pits and tips. Another boom began in the early 18th century after the loss of the Alsace to France. It lasted until the 19th century. Many pits from this period may be visited today as show mines, for example the Tufelskrun pit, the Finstergrin pit near Wieden, the Hoffnung stolen at Todmus. The mine in the Schoensland, the formerly especially silver-rich Wenzel pit in Oberwolfach and GR. Sagan Goddess in Hoslochschnellingen. Non-ferrous metal mining in the Black Forest continued until the middle of the 20th century near Wildschapbach and on the Schoensland. Fluorite and barite are still mined today at the Clara pit in the Ranch Valley in Oberwolfach. Iron ores of the Dogger Formation was worked until the 1970s near Ringsheim and was smelted in kale. Compared with the hearts and or mountains the quantities of silver extracted in the Black Forest were rather modest and reached only about 10% of that produced in the other silver mining regions. There are many show mines in the Black Forest. These include, the Frischigluck pit near Nunberg, the Heligluck pit near Nubelock, the Silbergrundel pit near Zeebach, the Himmlich Herr. Pit near Hullwangen, the Heilige Dreikunniga pit near Freudenstadt, the Sagan Goddess pit near Hoslock, the Wenzel pit near Oberwolfach. The Caroline Pit near Sexau, the Suggental Silver Mine near Waldkirch, the Schoensland Pit near Freiburg, the Tufelskrun Pit near Munsterdal, the Finstergrin Pit near Wieden, and the Hoffnungstolen Pit near Totmus. Trunks of white fur from Gersbach hold up the largest unsupported wooden roof in the world at Expo 2000 for several centuries. Logs from the Black Forest were rafted down the ends. Kinzig, Merg, Nagold, and Rhine rivers for use in the shipping industry, as construction timber and for other purposes. This branch of industry boomed in the 18th century and led to large-scale clearances. As most of the long, straight pine logs were transported downriver for shipbuilding in the Netherlands, they were referred to as Dutchmen. The logs were used in the Netherlands, above all, as piles for house construction in the sandy and wet ground. Even today in Amsterdam large numbers of historic buildings are built on these posts and the reforestation of the Black Forest with spruce monocultures testifies to the destruction of the original mixed forest. With the expansion of the railway and road network as alternative transportation, rafting largely came to an end in the late 19th century. Today, loggers harvest fir trees, especially very tall and branchless ones, mainly to ship to Japan. The global advertising impact of Expo 2000 fueled a resurgence of timber exports. The importance of the timber resources of the Black Forest has also increased sharply recently due to the increasing demand for wood pellets for heating. The timber resources of the Black Forest provided the basis for other sectors of the economy that have now largely disappeared. Charcoal burners built their wood piles in the woods and produced charcoal, which, like the products of the potash boilers, further processed inter alia for the glassmaking industry. The Black Forest supplied raw materials and energy for the manufacture of forest glass. This is evidenced today by a number of glass-blowing houses e. 
G. In the Holland Lynn Todd now and Volfok and the Forest Glass Center in Gersbach, which is open to visitors. Clockmakers workshop in a sitting room in the relatively inaccessible Black Forest Valley's industrialization did not arrive until late in the day. In winter, many farmers made wooden cuckoo clocks to supplement their income. This developed in the 19th century into the precision engineering and watch industry, which boomed with the arrival of the railway in many of the Black Forest Valleys. The initial disadvantage of their remote location, which led to the development of precision-engineered wooden handicrafts, became a competitive advantage because of their access to raw materials, timber from the forest and metal from the mines. As part of a structural support program the Baden state government founded the first clockmaking school in 1850 in Fertwangen to ensure that small artisans were given good training and thus better sales opportunities. Due to the increasing demand for mechanical devices, large companies such as Jungins and Kinsley became established. In the 20th century, the production of consumer electronics was developed by companies such as Saba, Duhl and Becker. In the 1970s, the industry declined due to Far Eastern competition. Nevertheless, the Black Forest remains a center for the metalworking industry and is home to many high-tech companies. Since the start of industrialization there have been numerous firms in Fortsheim that manufacture jewelry and work with precious metals and stones. There is also a goldsmith's school in Fortsheim. The Strasserhof Mill in Hornberg, a typical Black Forest farming mill the Hornberg Basin near Harrisried, upper reservoir of the Ware Pump Storage Station. Due to the large amounts of precipitation and elevation changes the Black Forest has significant hydropower potential. This was used until the 19th century especially for operating numerous mills, including sawmills and hammer mills and was one of the local factors in the industrialization of some Black Forest valleys. Since the 20th century, the Black Forest has seen the large-scale generation of electrical power using run-of-the-river power plants and pump storage power stations. From 1914 to 1926, the Rudolf Fettweiss Company was established in the Merg Valley in the northern Black Forest with the construction of the Schwarzenbach Dam. In 1932, the Schlutzsee Reservoir, with its new dam, became the upper basin of a pump storage power plant. In 2013 the Association of the Southern Black Forest Schlutzsee work owned five power plants with 14 storage tanks. At the Hornberg Basin topographical conditions allow an average head of water of 625 meters to drive the turbines before it flows into the Vera Reservoir. In the 21st century, in the wake of the Renewable Energy Sources Act, numerous smaller run of the river power stations were reopened or newly constructed. Thanks for watching.